Hey, love bugs, it's Riles. I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed today. I'm doing blessed and highly favored, and I definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome. Much love to you. And for my extended family, returning subs, thank you so much for stopping by and showing me the love and support each and every day, sending me kind vibes and loving vibes. It's always so gratefully appreciated. And for that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are yet for all. And thank you for stopping by my channel. And if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload the next video. And if you feel like you're comfortable enough, go ahead and drop me a line. I'll love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Or even if it's about the positive feedback or just tell me about your journey on being an empath. You know, whatever is positive is all welcome. And if you feel like that my video is, you resonated with my video and it put you in a good spirit and raised your vibrations, go ahead and spread the word, spread the love. Give me a thumbs up, like, and even share. It'll all be greatly appreciated. And thank you so much for stopping by my channel and I hope you're able to get something out of this video. And today, the music I'm listening to I had to turn it down a little bit because it got kind of loud. Um, it's higher positive energy, vibrations, meditation music, chakra healing music, relax mind, body, and soul. And the video that I'm about to do today is about Twin Flame 101. Face your fears. It's time to let go. For all empaths, you know, whether you're... Hey, Oka, you're indigo, or you're a star seed. Anything that has that gives you drawn to your empathic, or even if you're not even empathic at all, you need it's it's time to face the fears and move on. And I had to keep telling myself, you know, even though I make my videos about things, there was something deep inside of me that I thought I really thought I let go of. And even though I faced a lot of things, there were some things that were still, you know, in the debris. You know how um, you might wash a dish or something like that. Or, you know, when you thought you had all the food off. And then you get ready to put it in the dish rack and then you notice there's some food still stuck on it. So you have to go back and wash it all off. And that's, that's the things that I was dealing with, you know. Even though I felt, because I don't want anybody to ever think I'm being a hypocrite by the things that I'm saying. Because there's sometimes we can suppress so much stuff that we feel like we have let go of things and did not. You know, and there's, you know, I could be talking to one of my love bugs or, you know one of my psychic sisters or whatever you want to call it soul sisters and you know there'll be things that I'll still you know we'll be talking about things and you know things will still pop up in my mind about what my family did to me or you know me missing out on being with my family you know wanting to know my mom wanting to know my dad you know seeing you know it was just a lot of things and it was just like I was watching um what is his name Y'all, this is his name now, so, so excuse the profanity, but his name is Goddamn Zoe. <laughs> and he's like, what was it? What was it? <laughs> I know you effing lying. You know, he's just really funny. And it was just like, I was watching him yesterday on this, uh, he was doing a triple X extension. I think that's how you pronounce his name. You know, y'all, I'm sorry if I messed up the rapper's name, but I did a video about him and it, it just really brought tears to my eyes because... I knew what he was talking about. People were coming back at him and talking about how can you represent him? How can you say any, anything nice? And even though this man has passed away, this man has passed away, people are still got bad things to say. And it's just like, we have, we all have issues. We all have a past. There's things that we have done. There's things that we experienced. There's some things that we probably did to other people that we are not proud of. But the first thing you need to do is forgive yourself because there's times I done sat here and cried and I was just like, I'm so disappointed in myself. Y'all don't know, I've been going through so much and there's a lot of things I don't bring to the forefront because it's like, you know, there's things that I just really don't talk about. But I'm just like, I don't have problems. I, I, I mean, I don't have problems with telling what I have because that was my journey. This is my story. You know, it got to the point over the weekend that I was about to be face out being homeless. 
Like I was really ready to leave everything behind and just leave. And that was me running because I didn't want to deal with it anymore. I'm just done. I, you know, people are like, Rosalind, stay here, you know, stay here. And it was like nobody I could turn to. And I was like so hurt. And it was just like the universe just needed me to see what I needed to see. Face my fears. Deal with them. Don't cope. But move on from them. And that was the big thing that Zoe had said that really touched my heart because I mean boy had me in tears I love seeing so you know uh he's from you know up the road you know in Atlanta and I mean this boy never seemed like he got a bad day no matter what people say about him I mean he always got positive things to say and I mean to me I feel like he's an empath too because it's just the way that he goes about things and it's just like he's so funny you know he always keeps somebody dying laughing like I really said did this boy ever have a bad day but I never see that but it was like he let his true feelings show by him saying you know people need to forgive and you know how people say don't forgive you know forgive but don't forget and he made a true point about that. Even though you forgive somebody, you're supposed to forget it. Just leave it alone. Because God has forgiven us every single day. And there's times that, you know, we, we might be mean to somebody or we might lash out at somebody. We might do some devious things. And then we'll end up feeling bad about it later. But God forgave us for that. And that's just, you know, I had to do the same thing for my family. You know, I know that what they really put me through really messed me up mentally emotionally physically and everything and that's things that I have to face you know that I spewed out on my children and that's something I had to deal with you know and it's like when you're going through things know you're going through things but they're not always going to be that way and I had to tell myself that even though I don't know the road that I'm leading you know, I just have to keep going, live for the moment, carpe diem. You know, I had to do that because it was just like, that was blocking my blessings, being mad at them. You know, even though I let it go, I wasn't, you know, there was deep down inside, I really did not let everything go. Because even though I forgave them for what they did, I would still have that memory playing around in my head. So basically, that was just telling myself, you haven't forgiven them. So when you truly forgive somebody, it won't come out no more. You'll be too busy worrying about the positive things that are taking hold of your life, that impacts your life, that enhances you me mentally, physically, emotionally, financially, sexually. You know, anything that brings positive joy to your life, that's what you need to put your energy on. I can't put my energy on what my step you know my stepmom did to me or how she treated me or how my adopted brother well not my well my adopted brother and my stepbrother treated me um how my adopted dad you know he did things to me I can't sit up here and be worried about all those things anymore because that was my past but my past has brought me to where I am today it made me a very strong woman I'm very smart got a lot of self-confidence, got a lot of self-love for myself, and it took a long time for me to love myself, you know, and if you can't love yourself, you, you can't, you know, when you love yourself, other people will learn to love you too, but I know there's people out here that don't believe what I say, you know, there's sometimes I can look at my past um, comments and hear people tell me, oh, you're not telling the truth, you, you just don't know what you're talking about, but people don't know your journey, it's not meant for them to understand, just because you're an empath or, you know, you might claim to be an empath or, you know, you just be an empath, but things go differently for you, that doesn't mean that what somebody else is going through is not true, because I can sit up here and say, oh, you ain't cried enough or you ain't let go enough and you ain't, you know, that, because stuff like that used to really piss me off when I see stuff like that because people don't know my story there's days that I've cried screamed to the point where my eyes has been swollen shut because of the things that I went through because I was so hurt you know my family turned my children against me me and my children were very close before we moved down here and then now it's like chaos and I'm trying to mend that so it, it's just like when I learned to forgive myself and others and let go and forget you know when a when a thing 
a certain thing presents itself when somebody's passive aggressive or somebody's just trying to throw a rock and hide their hand and trying to gaslight you. You know, you don't have to keep on playing, you know, what you went through in your head. Just let go. But you just know when you come across something that happens like that again, you already know how to react to it or how to respond to it. So I had, you know what? That's why I had to say, you know, wash my hands of everything and say, you know what? Enough is enough. I'm beating myself up for something I cannot control. I know what I can respond to and what I can react to and the things that I want to deal with and put my energy upon. I'm putting my energy upon being a better person, spreading awareness, spread, spread love, not giving a dag about what everybody else is thinking about me when it comes to negative situations or negative opinions because the last time I check opinions and insults don't pay my bills. <laughs> and you know insults and everything don't pay your bills and the last time I checked this is a free will I got my fifth amendment right to say what I want people don't like it unsubscribe me don't even watch my videos don't even waste your time by putting anything negative on my stuff because it'll get deleted and then I'll laugh at your dumb ass anyway because I feel like people especially when you're pushing out positive things there'll be some negative naysayers coming at you and i'm just like i keep it 150 if i can't get more truth i'll push it back to 250 but i'm being real you know if i messed up i say i messed up i'm woman enough to sit up here and admit my flaws everybody got them everybody got a past I'm, I'm just loading mine out on y'all so when everything, the truth comes out, nobody ain't got to Google me because hell, I done told y'all everything. I ain't got time to sit up here and be having people, oh, well, you did this and you said you did that, but you didn't tell this. I, I ain't, look now. <laughs> I just keep it moving, keep it positive, keep pushing and keep, keep on. You know, that devil beat you. Get that monkey off your back. Face your fears and do what's best for you. Do what makes you happy. And everything will be okay. So it's just like when I tell you face your fears, it's time to move on. Because when you keep dealing with those fears and you keep, you're, you're, all you are is fighting yourself and you're going through a revolving door. And you won't go nowhere. You know if you keep going around in circles, you're going to feel like that hamster on the wheel ain't going no daggone where. It's of tiring yourself out. You know, when you can be able to accept the fact of things that happen to you and know, you know what? Yeah, I've been abused. I might have been raped. I might have been beat down. I might have been tortured. I might have been this, this, and that. But you know what? I made it. I might have been a warrior. You know you're a warrior. You might got bumps, bruises, and a t-shirt, and a decal on the back of your car to prove it. But it's okay. We all learn, we all learn and we grow from the things that we go through. And no, you will get through them. You just have to look at it in a positive way. And I had, I mean, that's what I had to do when I sat down for 48 hours. I think it was like 48 hours and 72 hours. I ain't talked to y'all in a video. And I felt so good because I was seeing everything for what it was. And it was just like that past vomit was coming up and I just let it go. I just let it go. Because I know I need to focus my energy on something that is going to progress me, not tear me down, not, you know, just victimize myself. Because I'm not going to play no victim and woe is me. You know, they did this to me. They did that. I don't know what else to do. Don't do that to yourself because nobody ain't going to feel sorry for you. Like my daddy said, you know, we on our own. You know, this is a world. This is a cruel world and you're on your own. Ain't nobody going to save you but you. And I had to learn that. That's the reason why, you know, money wasn't coming the way it was. You know, um, when I was getting ready to ask somebody, you know, there was always something that came up. Because I'm the type of person, I don't like asking nobody for nothing. You know, I want to learn on my own, grow on my own, provide on my own. But it was like things were snatched away from me and kept me. So I opened up and realized and thinking... You know, the world is punishing me. God's punishing me. He ain't hearing me. No, it's not that. When things are taken away from you and people are just dropping out your life, that he's blessing you. He's taking them out of your life for a benefit. When people leave you, let them leave. Let them go. When people show you who they are, their true characters, you better believe that. Don't be like, oh, I'm being naive. Or I'm going to let, you know, I'm going to give them a chance. No. Uh-uh. <clears throat> 
you learn your lesson the hard way, okay? All right, you want to be like that. That's not how I am. That's not how I roll. Me and you ain't on the same level, so I got to go. That's all right. You know, there's some people who are here for a reason and a season. You just got to decide which one they're here for, a lesson and a blessing. You got to decide what they're here for. So I'm not trying to hold you up. You know, I got all up in a good foot and, you know, start preaching and stuff. I ain't trying to preach to y'all, but I had to tell y'all what was on my mind because I had a gut feeling that somebody's going through the same thing I'm going through. And they needed to hear this today. Because I'm telling you, I feel so much better. I done cried and got my kumbaya yas. You know, on my last video, y'all almost caught me crying. I was about to cry again. But I know they're all good tears because it feels good when you're able to release something and just know, you know what, that's not, don't pick up that problem no more. That's not your problem to deal with no more. You dealt with that, you learned from it, you healed from it, move on. Leave it where it's supposed to be and go on to the next. Because there's something better waiting out there for you. When God tells you to put something down, he's about to drop something off you that you haven't even imagined. And just remember, you are loved and you are blessed and highly favored. And God did not bring you this far to abandon you. When he takes something out of your life, that's a benefit for you. So don't be trying to run back to it. Don't open a door that God has meant to shut for you and lock it. Don't be trying to Jimmy rig that mess open, okay? <laughs> but like and subscribe. Hit this notification bell so you know when your girl about to upload the next video. Drop me a line. I'd love to hear from you. And I hope you are able to resonate and get something out of this video. Like I said before, remember. Remember, you are very blessed. You are highly favored. And you are God's child. And know you are truly loved. Even though when people don't show it, knowing there's somebody out there that's praying for you and there's somebody out there that loves you. And I will see you on my next video. Send love out. Send out as much love, positivity, and good vibes as you possibly can. And I'll see you later. Peace. And be wild.